good evening everyone today we have a wonderful topic that is a chromosomal disorders okay so these are basically disease condition but these uh, diseases are not because of any bacteria virus or any kind of pathogen these are inherited diseases but specifically they are being caused due to abnormalities in the chromosome now that chromosome can be autosome or can be allosome that is even the sex chromosome so uh, let us understand uh, in what condition in what condition these uh, diseases arises first of all the major reason is change in chromosome number now what does this change in chromosome number implicates that suppose we are normal human beings and we have 23 pairs of chromosome 22 pairs in which are autosome that is 44 one pair is allosome then total 22 plus one pair that is 46 if suppose we have more than 146 or less than 146 either 47 or 45 that is the change in chromosomal number that is one reason second reason change in chromosome structure of course it's long arm it's short arm then it's complete set all chromosome have their unique structure and genetic content if that changes that which have seen in the last video that the steps like translocation inversion deletion duplication if these phenomenon occurs in the chromosome they lead to a disorder that is called as chromosomal disorder specifically what are their types and kinds we will see simplifying okay now what does this chromosomal abnormalities results it results in two situation that has to be memorized as a definition of it okay first condition is aneuploidy that i said that is gain or loss of one or more chromosome as that condition i have shown that 46 plus 1 that is xxy that means what does this xxy indicates basically there should be xy we can consider that 2n diploid we are but here the condition is xxy that means 2n our diploid condition plus 1 extra and that extra x is the additional chromosome that is the gain and if it is less as in case of this 45 that we will see again it is a condition of aneuploidy that is gain or loss either 47 or 45 next condition is euploidy here formation of two haploids due to failure of cytokinesis after telophase we know that in cell division that prophase metaphase anaphase chromosome goes to the opposite end and then telophase comes and then finally there occurs the division of cell that is cytokinesis division of cytoplasm and if that cytokinesis that is kinesis of cytoplasm or division of cytoplasm fails to occur after telophase then the amount of double chromosome present in that haploid set will remain in the same cell so the content of two cell will be in the only one cell because that one cell has not separated by which process cytokinesis and when that process occurs after the last phase telophase so that situation where more than one set of haploid which we get that condition is called as euploidy and what is the reason for that failure of cytokinesis when after the last phase that is telophase okay now let us have some uh, what do you call it, specific examples of chromosomal disorders okay first is as been given in the ncert so we'll follow that downs syndrome it is also called as trisomy 21 now why down syndrome is called as trisomy 21 see as i said we are diploid that means every set of chromosome has its homologous chromosome then we have two sets of each chromosome that means we have how many pairs 23 pairs out of which autosomes are 22 pairs and allosome one pair here it is called trisomy 21 that means the 21st chromosome which has to be two in number or in two condition it has 
one more chromosome with it. So he has increased in autosome, which is twenty first chromosome. Instead of two copies or one pair, we have three copies of twenty first chromosome or autosome. That's why it is called as trisomy. Tri means three. So three soma, three three bodies. Because of this, the twenty one chromosome has three set of it. That's why it is called as trisomy twenty one. Okay. And this was being discovered by Dr. Langdon Down. That's why the name of the disease is being honored to this discoverer. That is Down's syndrome. So what we understood in Down syndrome, where it occurs, it occurs on twenty-first chromosome, which is autosome. How it occurs? One more set of that twenty-first autosome is there. And who discovered this? Langdon Down. Because of that, it is called as Down's syndrome. Let us see what happens in case of Down syndrome. If you see the children with Down syndrome, they have swollen face, bulging and slanting eyes. They have small mouth. So you can see swollen face, bulging, slanting eyes, and small mouth there. Okay. Plus, they have protruding tongue. That is a specific what you call consideration of tongue, which is not usual. Body becomes short. That is called short stature. But the palms are broad. that seizing is lesser but the palms are broad in that condition and they have retarded since the sh shorter stature is there so there is retarded or lesser physical and mental development they are not intellectual that much considered to other children in the society so first example we have seen down syndrome due to the abnormal in 21st chromosome that's why called trisomy 21 discovered by scientist dr langdon downs that's why it is called downs syndrome next example as parentality kleinfelter syndrome okay now this is called xxy syndrome as i said here gain of one chromosome this is also called as xxy syndrome now what we have to understand from this xxy that this occurs in male first thing to remember and what is additional we know that a male has X and Y chromosome, one X from mother, one Y from parent. That's why it is male, because male are heterogametic. They decide the gender of the next progeny. So it occurs in male. What is additional? It has one extra set of X chromosome. So that's why this syndrome is called X X Y syndrome. Okay. Now what is happening? The normal diploid nature of us, that is forty six. Is now disturbed. We have one more X chromosome. That means 44 autosome. One X chromosome, one Y chromosome. That is 46, a diploid nature. But here, additional X chromosome. That's why it is called 47 chromosome. Or you call the default is the X chromosome, which is 47. Okay. So that's why it is the gain of one chromosome, and that additional chromosome is. X chromosome and it occurs in which in case of male because the condition is X X Y that X Y means male. Now, who discovered this? As an honor, Dr. Harry Kleinfelter discovered it. That's why it is called as Kleinfelter's syndrome. Okay. Here, since it is in male, so male characters are like development of beard. So in those males, the beard. is a less developed very thin or usually uh, unrecognizable the shoulders are quite narrow smaller one okay they are not broad they are narrow okay and then they show gynecomastia now this gynecomastia is a condition where generally the breast development occurs in female but these are the kind of male in which because of this extra x chromosome there is a feminine character that is breast development that is called gynecomastia okay and then their testes are also not fully developed because of which they are lagging in sexual hormone production and secondary sexual characters completely hence they are sterile so this is the kleinfelter syndrome what to be taken in the memorization one additional chromosome 
instead of 46, 47 chromosome. That additional chromosome is X chromosome. So Klein-Fentel syndrome occurs in male. Hence it is called as XXY syndrome. Such individuals does not develop a clear beard as a symptom and they show ganextometria as well as they have undeveloped testes and they are sterile. Okay. Now moving ahead to the next syndrome that is Asperianciati Turner syndrome. Okay. It is called XO or X0. Now here what this is indicates here there is no Y and there is only one X. You can guess it occurs in female and where instead of two XX chromosome they lacks one X chromosome and that's why they have total number of chromosome minus one that is 45 and which chromosome is missing one X regular chromosome is missing so their total chromosome count is 45 okay and this was being discovered by Henry Turner in the name of honor the disease name is given as a Turner syndrome now here the females have webbed neck the neck is webbed type plus they have undeveloped breast as well as ovaries basically they are sterile just like the Klinefelter male these Turner females are also sterile as well as their body development is also not fully they have short stature very less developed breast as well as ovaries and these what you call victims of this genetical or chromosomal disorder usually suffer from the condition of diabetes or vision problem as well as hypothyroidism so when question is being asked these additional features can be added specifically to this these females usually are sterile they suffer from diabetes mostly they suffer from vision problem as well as they are thyroid patients okay now this is turner syndrome which is lacking one yet chromosome discovered by Henry Turner. Now next type that is change in chromosome structure. In the last video we have seen TD that is T for transcription, D for deletion, I for inversion, D for duplication. All those situations occurring in the chromosome. Suppose this is a chromosome, some part of it is deleted, say this part is deleted, its length becomes shortened or some part is extra copied so this increases its length so this is just the what do you call understanding we have seen in the last lecture with the ABCD model okay like in the first case the chromosome has these alphabet one of the alphabet lost ACD what happens this is called deletion or if suppose one uh, what you call alphabet is more copied that part of chromosome is more copied uh, duplicated that condition called duplication so all this deletion loss of the part duplication increase in the part or what you call translocation when two chromosome interchange their content that we have seen in the last video a b c d e f g and one two three four five six seven and then one chromosome has a b c d e and then one two another has g f and three four five six seven you can see in the last video what you will understand two chromosome non-homologous chromosome has exchanged their content so all these situation resulting change of a structure of what chromosome because these changes the deletion or duplication or exchange is occurring in chromosome and any change in the normal chromosome is changing its structure and if the structure of chromosome is changing those vital genes which are added or deleted they actually has influence on the personality as they are the genetic makeup so these changes in the chromosome leads to chromosomal disorder the example of this disorder is like Jacobson syndrome it is one disease or one more you can see Kraiduchat syndrome okay this Jacobson syndrome is a correct example of deletion in the chromosome and this is also called that 11C or 11Q syndrome because the deletion in the part of chromosome is chromosome number 11 where its Q part is small part of the Q part is being deleted. So Jacobson syndrome is due to loss of part of the chromosome a deletion of the chromosome number 11. Just like that this Cree-Duchat syndrome he, it is called as 
five chromosome deletion that is the fifth chromosome its small part is being deleted and what is unique feature about this cre du chat syndrome that those children who are the victim of this chromosomal disorder due to small part of their fifth chromosome is deleted when they cry their voice is so shrill that you cannot even recognize whether this a human child is crying or cat is crying that's why the name of the disease is called cry du chat syndrome so in this way i wish you understood that chromosomal disorder can be due to loss or gain of chromosome or due to loss or gain or exchange of part of the chromosome that is number of the chromosome or the structure of the chromosome when changes it leads to the disorder with two condition aneuploidy or euploidy that is due to what do you call failure of cytokine receptor telophase so in this way you understood three names of the scientists who discovered and these disorders 21st trisomy xxy syndrome xo syndrome that is down syndrome klein pentel and turner syndrome and in case of disorders due to change in chromosomal structure the 11th chromosome deletion jacobson disease and fifth chromosome part what you call deletion cry du chat syndrome so what you have to do just understand the terminologies their definition some characters they can be asked in mcq or the name of the scientist or the number of chromosome which is being affected like 21st or additional x or less x or 11th or fifth chromosome specifically with their names of the scientist it is much easier topic just read the ncert once twice and see the video you will definitely understand it correctly so i hope you understood this thank you thanks for watching